Hello guys, it's good like. Uh, I've been asked to make a guide video about how to use the auto hotkey to fix your Dark Souls 2 mouse somewhat. So there it is. First you go to the this website autohotkey.com. This will uh, lead you here. You will press the button download and you will get here, which is ahkscript.org slash download or whatever. Here you download one of these two. If you don't know what's the difference between them, then just download a 32-bit version. It's fine. It works. It's no big deal. Uh, save the file somewhere, anywhere. Once you do that, extract it to get the auto hotkey.exe file. Then run it. When you run it, you get this prompt. Click yes. Here is a script file. You need to put a script in here. Now, a really decent script is this. Which basically does the following. In Dark Souls 2, it will change your left mouse button to H, your right mouse button to G, and if you press F2, it will temporarily stop until you press F2 again. Save this script, close it, and run this program again. As you can see, your mouse still works fine, but if you go into Dark Souls, which you should just then launch, you will be using your mouse for attacks instead. Now, when you're inside Dark Souls, your left mouse button will be the right-handed simple attack, and your right mouse button will be right-handed strong attack. And you can spam these, and they will not lag or anything. It's amazing, I know. Now, with some versions of the script, uh, the button, the mouse button stopped working here, but now it seems to be working. If you still run into issues, you can press F2 to stop the script, and then your mouse button will no longer do the attacks. Pressing F2 again will resume the script, and you can once again use it for your stabby goodness. Now, there's something to notice. I've noticed that the timings for the well this bitch slap and for the jump attack have become completely ridiculous I have no idea if this is part of a game or because a mouse and keyboard but either way I haven't found a way to do that without actually writing a complete script to replace that with uh, single button. And to believe replacing it with a single button is a little bit excessive and to the point where I wouldn't necessarily agree anymore. It's still doable. Well, as I say, I fail. Well, with a little bit of practice, nothing that you shouldn't be able to learn. I'm sure. Oh, uh, it works uh, slightly more than 50% of the time. That's good enough, right? <laughs> Let me show you my key bindings. As you can see, I've unbound everything from the mouse. This was because it was uh, saying, apparently, that because you use something like shift, left click, or whatever. Yeah, you see this uh, message which says that it's bound to more than one function, even though... It's not really possible. This is because the shift is actually bound to something, which... Uh, I will show you momentarily. That's basically the reason why there's almost nothing here. Here I've changed the walking button to left control. And I've left everything else the way it is. I've left everything here the same as it was before. Same thing here. With attack, make sure you keep your attack right hand as H and strong attack right hand as uh, J. Otherwise, uh, the script will no longer work. Because these are the buttons that the script is bound to. If you change these, you have to modify the script. Attack left hand, I made into left shift. 
this basically represents block and the strong attack tab represents parry just like in the first game interact Q just like in the first game instead of a stupid enter key and we'll write weapon two-handed left alt once again just like in the first game I also believe I had to remap this toggle menu into a random button because once again it conflicted with the shift key being used somewhere else which was well clearly stupid because that combination definitely was not used anywhere right uh, I found these fixes in uh, the steam forums I'll uh, drop some links in the description so you can read up if you want to modify the script yourself for additional functionality if you're fine with it and uh, well thank you for watching and I'll see you later